All right, cool, you made it to video two. And let's do a little bit of voiceover now. Let me just tell you what I'm doing. Um, again, we're using our turtle wax compound. And because I, you know, we're not using the high speed buffer, the professional style that we, we'd like to use, it's taking a long time. Like I said, this whole process took at least, at least 20 to 25 minutes doing what I'm doing right here. Okay, so it's just, monotonous over and over and over and over buffing out the same section with compound so what we do is put some compound on it go over it over and over and over until the scratch buffs out okay like I said we didn't have any sandpaper it would have made it easier if we had a little bit of 1500 grit 2000 grit to sand that scratch out a little bit and then buff it uh, but we didn't have any okay so it's just over and over watch uh, make sure you watch your edges you don't want to hit paint or just burn it because you could quickly burn paint um, because this is a flat panel uh, it's going to be hard to actually burn paint unless you just put the whole drill on an angle and you just gouge into the paint but you know we're not doing that All right, so that's how you do something. Uh, do-it-yourself style if you don't have a buffer. You could use a drill with one of these adapters uh, for these little buffing pads. But I highly recommend it if you're gonna be doing a complete project or doing something for a business or a buffer is gonna cost you about 100 bucks to 150 bucks for a good high quality buffer and pick up some a foam pad a wool pad and some good compound all right and you'll be repairing scratches like nothing and you'll be you'll be in business it'll be a lot easier than this process with the right tools but as you can see um, even if we don't have the right tools we can make things happen now we just put a little coat of wax application to it and wipe it off I'm showing you the wax process here but before this if you have the the tools and the material you'd want to go over it with your foam pad with your glaze compound all right this was just a shortcut because we didn't have the proper materials we just waxed it and wiped it off and called it a day it was done all right but um, if you check out the color sanding and buffing videos and the uh, video course the main video course and the main ebook we actually show you that the best way to get the highest gloss is to foam pad it and then wax it by hand all right, but uh, again, we're just showing you that this stuff can be done um, with some tools, you know, just basic household tools. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little series, and I'll see you in the next videos. Have a great day. Bye. Okay, so if you remember, we had scratches up in here and all along this side, about eight inches worth. Now you see no scratches.